हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे टुडे आई एम विजिटिंग मॉन्स्टेर आर्ट सो करेंटली आई एम हियर इन प्लाजा दे स्पानिया इन स्पेन बार्सिलोना सो फ्रॉम हियर वी गेट द ट्रेन फॉर मॉन्स्टेर आर्ट सो आई विल शो यू एवरी थिंग अबाउट हाउ टू रीच मॉन्स्टेर आर्ट एंड द ब्यूटिफुल पीक्स एंड एवरी थिंग अबाउट मॉन्स्टेर आर्ट प्लाजा दे स्पानिया इज़ वेरी वेल कनेक्टेड विद द होल सिटी सो हियर द मेट्रो स्टेशन इज स्पानिया and l3 and l1 line come to espania so wherever you are staying in barcelona you can catch a metro and reach espania and from here you can change for the train to montserrat So these are the machines here from which you can buy the ticket for Monster Art. So I will try to buy a ticket now. So let's see. Okay, so we can change the language from here. I will select English. And here we can see Monster Art combined ticket. So if I select this, uh, train ticket plus rack railway, train ticket plus cable car, rack railway plus train ticket agency tourist ticket. so we have to select before only whether i want rack railway or cable car so i will select cable car uh, adult single ticket combined train plus cable car adult return ticket plus combined train plus cable car so i i have to take to and fro ticket so i will take this combined ticket train plus cable car so the ticket price for one person is 23 euros to and fro so i have to put my card here collect the card collect the card okay yes i want the receipt let's see i think i will get the ticket here yes the train for monserrat leaves every 1 hour so i still have half an hour before my train leaves and i took this ticket uh, as you saw before it costed me around 23 euros for to and fro journey and it is combined with the train journey from here to monserrat and then a cable car means a ropeway you can also take a funicular ticket in if you don't want to take a ropeway but i have never used a ropeway so i decided to take a ropeway ticket and if you don't want to buy tickets from these machines there are few help centers also so like these you can see here or here you can take their help also but most of the people are buying the ticket from these machines only as you can see but you can always take the help of the help centers for monserrat you can see there it is written monserrat the train to monserrat goes from uh, three or four number platform i think it goes from four what i asked and it comes back on the third number platform maybe so this is mentioned here so i am going towards my platform now from here yeah so this is three and four it is mentioned here so once you board the train you should check uh, the line where this train is going because usually uh, many people have made mistake because if you see here the train started from plaque de spania and from here it divides into two part so some trains go in this direction and some trains go in this direction so but we have to go in this direction as you can see these are the two stops for monserrat so if you want to take the cable car you have to get down at this stop and if you have opted for the funicular you have to get down at this stop so please mind this and please do cross check when you board the train for monserrat give you a tour of this train from spania to monserrat so this is how the train looks like see the train is like almost empty this is how the train look like the first train from espania to monserrat base i have 
reached Monsterard uh, station and from here I have to take the ropeway. So can you see the view behind me? It's so amazing, isn't it? So from here I have to take the cable car. Once you are here near the ropeway station, you have to come to this station again and you have to validate your ticket. So they will give you some barcode kind of thing. And then again you have to stand in the queue of the cable car like this. So I am going to board this ropeway now. So I have reached top of the Monsterot mountain and from there we came up till here. So this is the funicular train. So this is the another option to come above the mountains. If you don't want to take the ropeway, you can take this train. Monsterrat is only 50 kilometers from Barcelona and is visited by more than 2 million people every year. It is an increasing tourist site of Catalonia and if you are coming here in your personal car or in a tourist bus, it will take less than one hour maybe when compared to trains from Barcelona. For me, it took more than two hours to reach here. The monastery of Montserrat is the spiritual center of Catalonia and a popular pilgrimage site among Catholics in Spain. This monastery is dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Virgin Mary or the Lady of Montserrat is a black and golden statue with baby Jesus in her lap and is declared as the patron saint of Catalonia. Many believe that the statue has healing power and have thousands of cures. This statue is famously known as Black Madonna. Apart from the famous statue of Black Madonna, Monsterrat Church is famous for its boys choir also. It is a choir of 50 boys, 9 to 14 year old, who receive a thorough choir education. They perform an anthem dedicated to Virgin Mary 
at 1 pm every monday to friday popularly they are known as escolania monserrat still holds catholic monks who serve to virgin mary and perform duties of the monastery other than the monastery monserrat also has other attractions like the library the museum of monserrat as well as the entire mountain area which is transformed into the national park of catalonia there are hiking trails throughout the path and now this park is a popular hiking and climbing destination i will be also hiking the highest peak of monserrat mount heroni and will show you how it is so this is the map of monserrat mountain so currently i am here so i went to the basilica here only and uh, i think i took this rope way from here and i came here so this funicular train also comes here only and this is another train or funicular which uh, takes you to above mountains like this it takes you up above the mountain where you can go for other hiking trails and this is the whole uh, monserrat monastery map so if i show you above all the places are mentioned here and this is the whole monastery map <laughs> <coughs> so these are some of the hiking trails these two are from this way and this one from here so san gironi this hike will take around 1 hour 45 minutes and the height is 1237 meters for san gironi So I am trying to do some hike. This is the how the hiking trail looks like. There are lot of stairs. Let's see. So this is how the hiking is going. There are very steep staircases. very narrow and steep so i have completed half of the hike so i am here now so this is the view from front i have already hiked for more than 1 hours let's see where this hike is taking started going down i don't know why hope i am on the right path going through the jungles monsterrat is a must visit place when you are visiting barcelona so uh, whatever list you find out on google the must visit places in barcelona so i, I don't think any list will be there without mentioning monsterrat
so it's still 15 minutes to go and i think i'm already at 1125 meters altitude here you can see and i have to walk 15 minutes more this way so let's see So I have reached Ermita de San Gironi at the altitude of 1,149 meter, and San Gironi is still 10 minutes away in this direction. Finally, I think I reached the top of San Gironi. This is the view from here. Let me go to that viewpoint and show you from there.